Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How are we doing? Matt Antonelli here. And so it begins. My boy, Jeff Passon, put out a tweet yesterday. He said, the Philadelphia Phillies have canceled workouts today after a coach and clubhouse attendant tested positive for coronavirus. Activities are shut down until further notice, according to the team. We also had Ken Rosenthal, just to uh, get everyone up to date with the Marlins fiasco. He said another Marlins player has tested positive for COVID-19, but the team anticipated this result from its contact trace and whoop de doo a source tells The Athletic. The latest positive case brings team's total to 17 players and two coaches, though one of the coaches has since tested negative. Well, that's good. So what a mess. So this is the danger of having one team get out of control with COVID and the effect that it can have. On the rest of the league, that's all it takes, just one team. So now you've got the Phillies who are paying for the actions of the Marlins. And, you know, rumors had it that the Marlins, uh, you know, while Atlanta playing the Braves, went out, a few caught COVID, spread it to the team. That's the latest I heard. I don't know. Maybe that's changed. Um, but then they flew to or they flew to play the Phillies. And, uh, and then after a number of guys started testing positive, the Phillies had to get shut down along with the Marlins. Phillies had to be quarantined. Players had to be tested. Everyone had to be tested. And now the Phillies have been shut down for, what is it, like five days? And soon it'll be turning into, I think, at least eight days. And then who knows if it's going to go longer. If a player tests positive so far, no players. But again, you've got the coach. Uh, you've got the clubhouse attendant. And uh, there's just going to be more delays if more people keep coming out. And this this really messes with the Phillies and their season. They're going to have to play, I think they've played, what have they played, three games so far? They're going to have to make up 57 games in less than 57 days. And that is, that's a huge disadvantage to the Phillies compared to what, you know, other teams are having to go through. Now, maybe, maybe other teams at some point in the year will have to go through something like this. But as of right now, this is a huge disadvantage for them. Um, You know, I've played... I've played the minor leagues for a long time, and uh, in the minors, you get like one day off a month, if you're lucky, and it's the worst. It's the absolute worst. There were times where I would show up to the clubhouse. I would literally, I would like drag my leg into the clubhouse, and I'd be praying that when I walked over to the lineup card that I didn't see my name in the lineup that day because, you know, I'd played 24 straight days, and my body felt like it was 105 years old, and my back hurt so much that... I, you know, when I bend down and touch my toes, I couldn't even get to my kneecaps. Um, and now I, I know it's a little different in the minors, right? You're riding in broken down buses and, you know, from like the movie Major League One, if you've seen that. Um, and you're sleeping in the worst hotels in America. It's like sleeping on a, just a bunch of two by fours. Um, and I'm sure that has something to do with it. But still, you know, players need days off. That's a lot of days or a lot of games and not a lot of days. Um, especially for pitchers, even more for pitchers. That's where it really crushes you. It really tests your pitching depth. And, um, you know, it'll be interesting if any rules or any other things are changed. You know, if they have to cram in all these these games, do they allow even, you know, do they keep kind of like these expanded rosters maybe a little bit longer or, um, you know, because you're going to need the pitching. If you've got, if you're going to play 57 games, games and you know 50 who knows how many days two days or something <laughs> that's gonna be really really difficult on on the pitching staff so we'll see what happens hopefully nothing else happens here with the Phillies um well same with the Marlins but Marlins are kind of getting me upset right now that 17 players have found a way to test positive and now it's affecting not only their team but other teams in the league um so we'll see what happens but Anyways, just wanted to fill you guys in, give you some of my thoughts. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you to our patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel. And we will talk to you guys later.